Paskah Kalos Tzadeh, which means hello and welcome in Greek to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Have you ever baked with tea? Today we're going to be baking Ravani, which is a semolina cake that's soaked in syrup, but we're going to soak it in a tea syrup that we're going to make with Greek mountain tea. You can definitely use chamomile or even Earl Grey, whatever you prefer. It adds a very delicate and elegant taste to the cake floral and it's going to go along with the lemon that's in here and the vanilla to create the perfect cake for a brunch, a tea party, or just for yourself to enjoy with a cup of tea or coffee in the afternoon. Call some friends over because this one is going to be delicious. Now let's get started. Over here I have some mountain tea, also known as malotira. It comes from the island of Crete where I'm from and it's very similar in flavor to chamomile. And over here in the packet I have chamomile flowers that are great for tea making. Now in Greece, um, this is usually used as medicine, so when, as soon as you get sick, mom goes right away, goes and boils some chamomile tea or some malotira, also known as mountain tea, and squeezes some lemon juice and lots of Greek honey in it, and you have many, many cups of that until you feel better. But it's also used in cake baking. It's very commonly used in cake baking, not just this tea, but a combination of herbs and teas, and it, it creates very nice very elegant cakes. We're going to do everything in a bowl with a hand mixer. Over here I have four eggs. You want to make sure they're, they're at room temperature. Also I'm going to add half a cup of granulated sugar, half a cup of olive oil. This is light olive oil so it wouldn't be the extra virgin. You could also substitute vegetable oil if you want. And I'm going to do a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And I'm going to beat this until everything is nice and incorporated and pale. Set this aside so the eggs are ready. Now we're going to combine the dry ingredients. So the dry ingredients are really simple. We have some finely ground semolina flour here. And you can find semolina flour nowadays, most of the time in the baking section of the supermarket. If all you can find is the coarsely ground semolina, you can bring that home and process it in your food processor or in a high speed mixer. You can do that or look for the fine semolina in your Mediterranean or Middle Eastern grocery stores. And I also have half a cup of all purpose flour and I do have the gram measurements on the blog post, so you can check it out there. A teaspoon of baking powder. And today I'm using lemon zest, but you can definitely use orange zest or whatever citrus you like. Lemon and chamomile and malotira go so well together. They're very complimentary. That looks good. About half of the zest of this large lemon will do. We don't want this to be a lemon cake. We want the tea to shine. And I'm just going to mix this all together. But before I do that, we need a little bit of salt, just a quarter teaspoon to highlight all of the flavors. Mix everything all together. And I'm just going to add this in two to three batches to the wet ingredients, mixing them in until they're just combined. You don't want to overbeat this. And today I'm using a 9 inch round spring form pan and you can use a regular 9 inch round pan that would be do too but I like this because the sides come out and you can release the cake easily. I'm going to put a sheet of parchment paper down on the bottom and I'm just going to spray it with some baking spray to help it release easily but you could also brush it with olive oil or with some melted butter and I'm just going to transfer all of the batter into the pan, give it a little tap. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to bake this on the center rack for about 30 minutes or until a toothpick that is in inserted into the center comes out clean. It should also be beautiful and golden and it should spring back when you touch the center. I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. And now we're going to make the syrup that's going to that's just going to perfume the cake. So while the cake is baking, we're going to go ahead and make the syrup because we want the syrup to stay nice and warm. So I have in my saucepan over here almost two cups of water. It's like a cup and a, a cup and three quarters. And then I'm going to take this tea over here. Now, if you can't find fresh tea like this, you know, from a Greek store or something like that, it is going to be hard to find if you don't have one nearby. You can definitely use chamomile tea bags maybe four or five chamomile tea bags because you want it to be nice and strong will do. Um, if you're using the tea bags, then you're going to want to put the tea in once the water comes to a boil, but I'm using the fresh stems and the flowers and I'm just going to let it come to a boil together. I'm going to let it boil and cook down just a little bit so it can steep for about five minutes. 
So once it boils, I'm gonna reduce the heat to low and let it steep for five minutes. Then I'm gonna strain that water out so I, that way I can catch all the flowers and everything. Then you're gonna to wanna to return the tea back to the saucepan with half a cup of granulated sugar and the juice of half of a lemon. Bring it to a boil and stir it until the sugar is dissolved. Then you're gonna to wanna to turn off the heat and stir in one cup of Greek honey. Now Greek honey is the best for this, but use whatever honey you have on hand if you don't have Greek honey. And then give it a nice stir until the honey is nice and dissolved. Then you can put the herbs back into the syrup so that way you can wait and they can release more of their flavor. When, when I say herbs, I mean the tea, the chamomile or the mountain tea, whatever you're using, and let it sit until the cake is ready. Once the cake comes out of the oven, then you're gonna wanna strain this liquid again, this syrup and get all of those stems and the, and the flowers and the tea, the tea stems and leaves and all of that. Poke the cake all around with, uh, with a toothpick and evenly pour it all over the cake. At this point, you're gonna wanna let the cake absorb all of that syrup. So if you're using, before we move any further, if you're using a, um, a spring form pan, then go ahead and put some aluminum foil around it just in case it's a little loose so that way you don't have a mess and the syrup doesn't ooze out. And let it sit for about 30, 40 minutes or until the cake absorbs all of that syrup. This is definitely something that you can do a day ahead of time if you're making this for a party and I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it's done. Once the cake cools, you're gonna wanna make yourself some coffee or tea, or you could even boil some more mountain tea because it is so good. It even tastes good ice, and I'll have all that information on the blog post. Now, I bought the mountain tea at the Agora in Kanya, which is the central marketplace of Kanya in the, on the island of Crete. It's just a beautiful place that has all these vendors that are selling cheese and herbs and teas and meat, and then also some little trinkets and souvenirs. It's beautiful, and it just, I just wish I was there right now, but I feel like I am with this cake. Now, like I said, feel free to substitute your favorite herbal tea if you want, or even some Earl Grey. Now, if you are using Earl Grey, it is gonna tint it a little bit of a caramel type color, so you're gonna wanna keep that in mind. It's gonna be a different color when you finish up with this. If you want to add another little, a little, a little bit of elegance to the cake, you can definitely make a little bit of an icing, which you just combine some uh, icing sugar, also known as confectioner sugar or powdered sugar, with a little bit of milk and lemon zest and a little splash of vanilla. The whole recipe will be on the blog. And mix it all together until it's nice and smooth and pourable. And you could definitely pour it over the side of the cake. You could also tint it a little orange or yellow because that is the color of mountain tea and chamomile that is gonna look pretty. But I like, I like the cake to shine and I just put a little bit on the slices that I had from yesterday because I didn't make this cake yesterday too. And I, so I could show you what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. You could also garnish it with uh, some of the flowers of the chamomile, or if you have fresh edible flowers, that will, be, that will be good too. I have some Greek coffee and it is time to take a bite. I already love Ravani so much. It is one of my favorite Greek cakes, but this takes it to the next level. It's this nice floral taste that comes with it. You get a little hint of lemon. It's so soothing, because it takes me back to childhood when my mom used to make chamomile for me or, or malatira, so it does remind me of that. So good, I think you guys are gonna love it. I hope you give it a try. And if you do, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. The printable recipe is on DemetrisDishes.com. The um, amounts and everything are underneath this video in the description box. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.